Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to your weekly read. Uh, this is going to be something new. I, have, I don't typically do weeklies, uh, so uh, I'm going to try this out. If you guys like it, note your comments below. Uh, definitely subscribe. Just let me know if you want to see more of these, all right? So let's uh, take a look. Uh, what I'm going to do is pull a coaching mantra for you before we get started for your week, all right? So this is going to relate to whether it's love, work, uh, you know, or life, all right? So you choose what that is for you. We're going to, we're going to literally look at what wants to come up. Okay. So what's going to be most important for Sagittarius, uh, starting June 20th, uh, for the next seven days. All right. Let's take a look. What do we have? What do we get? I am mentally and physically healthy. Yeah, guys, this is awesome. This is really, really cool. A lot of you could be focusing on mental health, physical health, and just mind, body, soul, and spirit health, right? Uh, so it's all about being healthy uh, for your situation and in terms of life. When you're balanced there, it affects everything that you do. So we're going to see how this plays out in terms of your read, okay? Uh, nice, guys, and good job for doing that, right? Good job. Um, it's always nice to start to have a, a strong foundation. So what does uh, Sagittarius need to know most? What's coming out? I'm going to pull six cards, all right? Uh, okay, so a lot of collabing, okay? Could be also even do with an Aquarius. Oh, this is beautiful. This is great energy, guys. Really good energy, okay? All right, what's at the bottom of the deck? Choices. Well, you're no short of options, Sag. That's really what's coming out. There's no uh, shortage of opportunities for you. But this is about making the most practical choice for yourself, right? Like what is going to bring you the success that you're looking for? Some of them have snakes in them. Some of them has a mask on them. So it's really getting down to the nitty gritty of opportunity and choices that you have surrounding you and which ones you're going to choose. So you can be choosy, right? <laughs> so this is what I'm getting. Um, but it is also about eliminating the veil of illusion of what you want to see and looking for some, let something as it is. So there's a little bit of uh, practicality that needs to come into play. And with the sirens going, it's telling me that you need to pay attention to that. Okay. So um, the first cards that I'm getting here is the Three of Cups, all right? And then I also get the Sun card. So this is about an opportunity to collab with others and have, uh, you know, a sense of renewed energy. I think when, you know, hold on a second, guys. Okay, guys, I think we're good. <laughs> Well, okay, just a, just a symphony out here. As as you guys know, once the siren goes, then the dogs go, and it's just my area that I'm living in. And I think I need to move out into the country somewhere or a big place where I can really. Uh, oh my gosh, I definitely need to. Okay, so this is what's coming into play: renewed sense of energy after you know in, when collabing with others. So it could be that you're collabing with people, you know, different people within your network, and what it's doing, it's renewing your energy in your work, and this is so positive. All right. Uh, it's renewing the energy within you. So this is really cool. Um, you know, so uh, yeah, I feel that there's a sense of renewal that's coming in. Give me anything more um, from the uh, sun card that wants to come out here. I just picked up the other card. What was the card that I had at the bottom of the deck? Well, oh, well, we'll just have to keep that. We'll forget that one. So, okay. So what is, uh, let's take a look at the sun card. Anything further that wants to come out? Yeah, Ace of Cups, intimacy and compassion. So you've got an opportunity. It was, uh, you've got an opportunity, uh, you know, to, you know, this is an opportunity for a connection with someone. I'm, it's what's coming through. Someone that you're connected with renews your energy within you. Now, this could be, uh, you know, uh, male or female is what's coming through, guys. It could be either way. Yeah, after after uh, some sort of ending, like after some sort of anxiety, depression, or despair of the past, and this could have to do with the get, got you mentally mixed up a little bit. Okay, it's putting an end to that, and now you're surrounding yourself, right? You're surrounding yourself with those that bring inspiration and renewed energy. Like you've got this, guys. This is really great, and you, you're understanding that how mentally and physically it's so important for you to be surrounded by those that love, support you, and have your same vision. And this is what I'm getting, guys. It's it's what's coming through. Let's take a look at anything more. All right. You end up an opportunity in love. Uh, for some of you, it could be an opportunity in love after the past and you feel finally renewed. Like that old energy is going, going, gone. Like that's what I feel. Okay. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Look at this, guys. Happiness. 
happiness is coming through and like you're in full bloom in this summertime right um this is kind of what i'm feeling the confidence is there you're back to like you're back to yourself sag is what i feel you're back to yourself and you're blooming um now it also could mean that uh you know you could be that you're developing a a, a camar camaraderie a family around you this could be your person you know your family itself uh, but everything is focusing on moving forward, uh, family, everything is going well, right? And I get the courage, like you've had the courage, uh, and it could be the courage to do what you needed to do to bring happiness in you. Kind of like, I feel that this is you in the middle and there's the family, right? And you are kind of, you bring happiness to the family, right? Uh, you have the courage to stand out in your family and bring happiness. I, I don't know. And it could be in your realm, your tribe. It doesn't have to be just your own family. It could be your extended family. You know, uh, it could be there as well. But that's what I'm getting. Let's take a look at the next card. I get the star card and I get the page of swords. So it could be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, and then this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is about healing, following your North Star. Uh, this is about having faith, moving forward very curiously and energetically. Uh, so this could be you taking on that energy, uh, Sag, and uh, focusing on your healing, following your passions, and you're moving forward energetically and curiously. You could be getting a message from a uh, an Aquarius, okay? Or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be air sign as well. Uh, so there could be a message coming through. Give me more on this page of swords message. All right, let's take a look at what that is. What do we get? Knight of swords motioning forward. Ooh, someone is, uh, yeah, this is about some sort of message that's coming through here. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah. This knight of swords. Now it could be coming. Uh, you got a fast message coming through to you. Okay. Let's take a look. Anything more? This is saying, you know, you have the strength to, to tackle this. So Leo energy. So you're having the strength to tame the situation, to bring calmness to a situation. And then what do I get? The three of wands, developing some sort of strategy or plan surrounding it. So yeah, this is what I'm getting. So someone could have some sort of opinion on a situation. Give me a little bit more from this Knight of Swords. Anything more on the Knight of Swords? Uh, what do we have coming through here? Having faith. Yeah having faith in the situation, just like I talked about with this Aquarius card here. I don't know, you might have an Aquarius around you that's inspiring you, but this is saying have faith, or you could be, you know, taking on that energy. But the Knight of Swords that's uh, opinionated, this is saying have faith in the communications, that things are going to bloom and, and turn out fine, even though they might be a little bit dark, you know, within the communication. This is saying uh, it's coming through here. Yeah, could be some sort of friendship. Okay, some sort of friendship. Okay, so it could be having to do with a friend that's coming through here. Wow, give me a card. I'm curious. I want to find a little bit more here. Give me a card um, uh, on the situation uh, in terms of this Knight of Swords. Uh, Knight of Swords, what do we get? Uh, a message of concern. So we know it's a message, right? It's motioning, moving forward, a message. Yeah, someone's thinking of you. Someone who is thinking of you. Okay. So you could be thinking of someone or maybe there's a message coming through that's very fast and someone's thinking of you. And that's what I'm getting. Someone's having thoughts about you, right? Positive thoughts. Uh, the seven card is having faith. Someone has faith in you. Could be a friend. It could be someone around you that supports you or giving you inspiration. And then the next card that I get is magician energy and the lovers. Wow, Sag, I mean, what great energy. Two major arcanas coming through here. This is about putting your vision and creating your destiny on earth in terms of love. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, these represented in both of these cards. You could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? Uh, you might have that in your chart or you're taking on this energy of balancing yourself out in terms of a uh, uh, in creating the love life that you want. Uh, looks like some of you might be, uh, you know, connected with an air sign or a Gemini is coming through here. Anything more on the lover's card? Yeah, after some sort of, uh, you know, uh, conflict or adversity in a situation. Okay. Uh, whoa. Okay, guys, the whole deck drop. Hold on one second. Uh, let me just pull another card from here and see what we got. Justice. Balancing out the situation. Wow. Right when I said conflict, the cards just dropped. Like it could be the house of cards just dropped, guys. And it could be that maybe in a situation it surprises you, right? Something uh, 
happens that is unplanned and there is some sort of justice that comes through. So I'm going to leave this as is. This reduces to an 11. 11th house has to do with some sort of uh, humanity endeavor. Uh, it's seeing the bigger picture in the situation. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like justice after maybe walking away on the calmer waters. Some of you are getting justice out of a situation. All right. Let's take a look at anything else. The eight of cups is walking away emotionally from a situation. So emotionally, you may have stepped away, creating change and to focus on your destiny. And what do I get? Yeah, because something was overburdening you. Something was causing overburden in a situation. Okay, and what else do I get? Unexpected gifts come from this. Unexpected gifts come through. Whoa, guys, unexpected gifts from the situation. All right, magician energy, what else? Could have to do with a wealthy man, okay? Some sort of, um, so you might be getting a gift from someone coming through from a wealthy man. And then I get courthouse. Uh, if there's a legal situation that is surrounding you, things are going to be balanced out. All right. There is going to be balancing out because the, the wealthy man is it reduces to a four. And fours all are all about uh, private life, your heritage, your, your even your psychological foundation. So something that you've been ruminating for, uh, you know, or, or wanting, there's an opportunity for love. This could even indicate marriage for some of you to a wealthy man. I mean, or, you know, vice versa. You don't have to be a man. It could be you know, just as well as a, a female. But just, you know, know what you, you know, you know what that is for you. Or there could be um, money coming through after some sort of divorce from a person. Yeah, someone was false. Someone was false in a situation. Someone was false. And it changed things. If someone put an end to something. So maybe someone was had a false exterior and they put an end to it. And now they're coming towards you. Oh, you guys, that could be the case. Or there could be a judgment made after something was false. And and there is a, it brings forth new life. Uh, because the lover's card reduces to a six. And that's birthing something new. Uh, like I said, it could be a Gemini coming through here. Yeah, and this is about following your dreams. Wow, you guys following your dreams. You are following your dreams. I'm going to leave it there, guys, but I will pull a final card for you. And this is what you need to, this is your motivational uh, inspiration moving forward. Um, and we'll see what wants to come out for you, Sag. Okay. What wants to come out for Sagittarius uh, for this week? What do we get? Being different is the one, is one of the most beautiful things on earth. Remember we discussed this, guys, and in terms of your family, like you are the different one, right? And it makes you stand out. You've got the courage to stand out, and you did it. Oh, my gosh. Being different is the one, is one of the most important, beautiful things on earth. Yes, it is. Keep being different there, uh, Sage. Keep being different. Lots of love and light. Note your comments, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.